hi guys, Danny here, and uh, let's uh, let's get back into the forest. Let's go explore more of level eleven. So far, things seem to be going okay. Um, Oh, yeah, actually, we want to cast Stalker here because, um, yeah, I did. Like, the objective right now is just to explore the area. I don't necessarily need to level up too much. Um, definitely want to explore that northern area of the map first. Actually, hang on a sec. I have a suspicion that this is actually going to lead to the same place anyway, so you may as well do this. Okay, so this thing isn't going to be too difficult to beat up. Uh... Ah, now this is a door. Wow, that is interesting. Let's open the door. And it's a treasure room. Okay, uh, that's cool. Medica level 4, I don't even think... <laughs> we don't even have anyone that would need that yet. Not sure if that's a good or a bad thing, but... Okay. So this just goes in like that. Okay, so this is explored. We can do, go back to what we were doing before. Okay, so this guy isn't going to be too difficult to kill. Remember, the objective here is to actually fully explore everywhere. So, um... I'm going to need to do that. Okay. So that's that completed. Okay. I think what we're going to do here is just have everyone attack the same thing. Okay, we'll level everyone once everyone gets the level, I think. Uh, okay, so we want to explore this uh, area over to the um, west here. We're going to go north first, I think. Um, okay, the stalker must be run out by now. It has, so it's going to make sure that we don't get ambushed by too many monsters. I'm pretty sure, like, using Thunder on this thing is probably a bit overkill, but... Ah, Thunder almost kills this thing, so... They're pretty tanky, though. Right, Meb is, uh... Picked up a level, which is good. Oh, um, as a, um bit of an update. Um, I've actually received some of my um, wizardry games that I ordered off eBay. Um, I've got the two wizardry... Um, uh, the two wizardry ZIF series, the XTF series. Um, like, um, basically, it, it's the version of wizardry that's set in a military school in Europe. Uh, <laughs> I'm not sure why they think they ha we have like cat girls and elves in Europe or something, but like, uh, you know. <laughs> but yeah, like, um. 
So I picked that up. The, the, apparently the maps are kind of somewhat procedurally generated on that one. Like as in the um the the actual uh the actual locations aren't procedurally generated per se, but the but the um but the monsters are, as in like they're randomly distributed and stuff. Gone gives way. Okay, so Now this would be an issue um, if I didn't have warp. <laughs> um. All right, so we know that the pits are um at least viewable, which is actually good. Like, uh, we, we could actually see them. Because that was my main concern. Like, yeah, it's all well and good having pits in the game, but if you can't see them, that's really shit. Because, like, in Wizardry, you can counter pits by using Levitate. Um. Oh man, Warp is such a useful spell. Like, now that we're actually dealing with pits and stuff, Warp is like a very useful spell. Okay, so yeah, we need to we need to mark down this room over here. So um, I suspect that's how we get to level twelve. Hit to level twelve. Alright, so... You might need to be a bit more exact with that later. Um, right, we do need... And also, I'd like to point out that that pit did not hurt the red... Like, if I was wizardry, that would have really messed up my party. Because obviously falling down from like a story, a couple of stories would probably hurt you, especially if you're wearing armor. Um, but fortunately for us, um, we don't have to worry about that uh, here in Etching Odyssey, which is good. Um, Hey, alright, so we're going to start leveling people up now. Alright, so um, Chills is up to level 5 now, that should increase his elemental defense. Um. Do we level up Crush? Actually, I think we should put, um, I think we should put at least one point into defense up. Reason being, um, we gain the use of bound arms. Okay, so that's actually really useful. Um, the reason why I want to put one point in defense is because we actually have like just a tiny bit of a defense boost. Um, also, I guess now that I realize you can actually um, unbind your arms, which is actually really useful if your guy relies on melee attacking. Um, actually, how much does level 3 agility? Okay, so we'll 
We'll put agility up to level 3. I think we should probably be doing that anyway. Um, Mev, uh, we're going to actually um, put Thunder up to level 3. Uh, this should make it so that um, his um, single target Thunder damage does really good. Um, what we'll probably end up doing after this... Uh, I'm sure we, um, TP regen is probably more useful if you level it up a bit more. Um, Luna. Yeah, I think we gotta get um, immunized to at least level 5 at this point. Um, healing par paralysis is also very important, but like right now I want to get back to at least level 5. I don't think any enemies are going to paralyze me just yet. Um, famous last words. Uh, um, yeah, let's just cast a small salve on everyone just to make sure that everyone is okay. Because again, we got to make sure that um, we're doing we're doing right here. All right, so now we have to be careful about what doors we enter into, because that's going to be the thing that decides if we, we we'll take going down to the next floor or not. It seems because the pits are noticeable, which means that um, they're not just going to leave in the middle of a corridor. So yeah, we, we don't need to be dealing with that right now. No. No, back to... What am I doing? Alright, okay, so she's let's see, um We do have a gather point here, so we should maybe go visit that as well. What's our um stalker looking like right now? We got no another nineteen turns on it. Um I think what we'll do then is we'll um we'll I think you should be able to kill that thing with a thunder now, because I did level up thunder again. And it's going to make it so that, um... Because here's the thing that I've noticed, you probably don't want to um, level up your stuff, power level up your stuff too much, because it becomes too much overkill. And it uses up too many resources for basically the amount of damage that you're doing. Lots of crab legs all of a sudden. Alright, so um, that's been taken care of. Right, uh, okay, so this looks like it's gonna be a door we can't use.
The series goes in time to value block plus you see we cannot proceed. Okay, so we gotta find a way of opening that door because we can't. Uh We gotta find our way to get into that purple crystal door. Now the last crystal we found, we had to go through like a bunch of traps just to actually unlock it, so... This thing isn't too dangerous, so I don't want to use too much magic on it. If I'm being honest with you, um... His maybe is starting to run a little low on magic, so... Again, we're not trying to use our... Uh, we recently paid out quite a lot of money for um, new equipment, so I'm trying to save at least a little bit of money. Um... Okay, so we want to go down here. I'm gonna go this way first. I think this way will probably be shorter. Famous last words, but. Uh, nothing here. Okay, do we have Stalker? We do not. Let's uh, reduce that encounter rate at least a little bit. I think I've cut that up. I think I probably should have let um, Mev attack the guy on his own here. Yeah, I definitely messed that up. Okay, so it's fine. Let's use regular vault, I guess, if we need to. Looks like we got multiple doors here. So this could be interesting. Like, these could all be trap doors. <laughs> Guessing that's kind of the point, right? Um, ooh. Okay. Yep, okay. You're a pit. And this looks like it's going to be a quick way. You walk through the forest bushes, go forth. Yep, so that is actually going to be a shortcut for us. Okay, so one thunder now does kill them. Ah, now here's an FOE. But have a pit down it. Okay. 
Now, this thing's guarding a pit. Uh, we probably just want to kill this thing as quickly as possible, if I'm being honest with you, so... Summon his little mate. And we managed to take care of it. Nice. Alright, so that's another blood ant taken care of. These all seem to be like the same thing. Ah, he's just gonna summon his mate straight away, huh? Yeah, this is what I was worried about. It's going to keep summoning its allies. This is bad. Okay, so that's been taken care of. Um, okay, we might want to use a couple of items here. Just gonna give Meb a couple of amaritas just to make sure we can, because I'm assuming this next thing's also gonna be a um, guided by a bunch of bugs as well. And again, we're doing this just to make sure that. Uh, You gotta make sure that the um the this area's been fully discovered here, so might have had some more stalker left but I don't care I'm just gonna use it gee it's quicker for me to do this I'm actually gonna go this way first I think just to make because Okay. 
everything was complete. Okay, so we got one more hour to go. She did a critical, nice. Alright, so I guess that um, that clears that. Talk to here. In the depths of what you see a lone soldier with a forlorn look. CCG cries out with relief. You must be the skilled adventurer that Radhead promised to come. Soldier speaks breathlessly as he hands you parchment. Here, take this as a portion of the map I managed to complete. The rest will be up to you guys. Soldier continues his low, conspicuous voice. Be careful, but I've seen something dreadful lurking around the path ahead. The guys beat Chernus, so you should be okay, but just be careful just in case. Soldier quickly flees before you can say another word. Planet Soldier's map, you continue going through the forest. Okay. Uh, this guy shouldn't be too difficult to defeat, so... What's our Stalker looking like? It's gone, so we'll, we'll just cast some more Stalker. So let's uh, let's complete this part of the actual dungeon. Yeah, traverse every corner of the floor is increasing an excellent map. Better will be quite pleased to see your handiwork. If you're done map if you're done mapping these as well, then you return to Matterhorn and show the results. If not, then moving along the next floor complete second half of your task. Well, we've not done this counts as a complete map? That is weird, because this is not a complete map. Hmm. Actually, I want to look over it, because we didn't actually explore this area. Okay, so this thing might be a problem. It's Shalator! Right, so... Um, get this thing with a trickery... Um, Actually, yeah. I want to check something out. Okay, we actually do need to give Meb and Amaru a 2 here. I probably should have actually, um... I probably should have given him a, um... Self two and everyone here, I think. Oh no! Ooh, that that almost killed us. Okay, 
We didn't ask you to provoke. Trying to save his legs. She just cast flame on it. You have to cast sound? Trickery. Guess Thunder is the way. And then um, I guess we use Immunize because I've forgotten to actually equip that on everyone. Ah, now that is messing him up. Let's speed everyone up. Okay, so we now know those thunder bombs actually work. And what I'll probably do next time is actually give it to Tarkus instead. Uh, we'll use a vault because um, we're trying to preserve at least a little bit of our um, stuff over here. Okay. Yeah, I, I almost completely cocked that up. Uh, yeah, I think we give the last Amarita to Luna here so she can actually start heeding people. So, well, we took care of that business. Um, it's interesting that they were like, hey, uh, you've done the map, even though we didn't fully do the map. What's our stalker situation looking like? That sounds really weird, but still. This guy isn't a problem, you just beat the crap out of it. Ah, you. Ooh, okay. Here's another pit. That is a pit. I don't know where that goes, so I'm not going to jump down it. My objective right now is to... You see something slender or protruding from the grounds. Right, so this is an event. And this is actually a gather point. Put it up from the earth and you see that it's an old wand. You obtain the articles left behind to free deceased adventurers. Okay, so what was that quest? When you need the articles, the less what you're going to hold a proper bet. Oh, okay, so we've got to return the items. That's fine. Alright, this is a mining point. I think we've already mined, though. Alright. Um. That is as complete of a map as I can get right now. So I'm actually, what I'm actually gonna do 
is um, use Nev's warp skill to get us out of here and return back to town. But we have a shortcut to get to the next level. Um, I'm not sure what I might need to do is actually do a bit of experimentation to each of these actual pits go to. Um, okay, so let's complete the quest first. Update 800 yen. You hand over the free comrades articles. Welcome back, I make sure to give these to our client. Thank you very much. I understand the adventures are drawn to Labyrinth's mysteries, but looking at these things they leave behind, if you're all for giving requests like this. But your work does save lives with many people. So all I can do is pray that you'll return safely every time you go down there. I promise you won't do anything stupid, okay kids? Right, so we can actually accept some more quests. All adventures from Radar Hall deal with the abominable plants blocking the corridors through uh, floor 10. A bad H. Um, the artisan of it needs a lump of corodium ore to craft a ring worthy of proposing to his love. Uh, man, they really want me to go back down to floor 10, huh? <laughs> um, so I'd take a request, that'd be good. I've been hoping somebody would. I can't say he's planning on making a ring of corodium. Being proposed with a handmade ring, sigh, every girl's tree. But you can't go through with it. He needs help in finding the ore. Hey, you can mine it somewhere in the first draft and make that girl happy, kids. Okay, so before I accept this other quest, can I currently make a bard H? No. Alright, so we're gonna we're gonna need that. Because that's probably a powerful weapon. Or at least a, a more powerful weapon than we have. So I'd take on a quest, that'd be good. I've been hoping somebody would. You know the whole sent those adventures doing something odd that must have happened. I don't know the details, but they seem to be having trouble with some abnormal plants. Better soldier on the tenth floor knows more, so go ask him about it. Keep your guard up, kids! Okay, well, we'll do that. Um, meanwhile, we'll visit Shelka. Ooh, we've just gotten a couple of new items. <laughs> I, can feel, I can feel my wallet weeping as I... Uh... <laughs> Right, so, um, yeah, that has to be pretty good. Viking, yeah, that's definitely better than what we've got right now. In terms of bows, that has to be better than that. That's way better. Well, you've just gotten a pretty significant power boost. Um, hmm, or well, have we? I guess we should use it. Should we though? Like it only gets our attack by one, but we lose a whole bunch of other stats. Yeah, I think we actually keep, I think I made a mistake. I think we, that's the problem. You think that's going to be a better weapon, but it's not. Wow, that that's just like a 20% increase in attack. Okay. Yeah, I think I think we keep the Viking sword for now. Hmm. 
Yeah, you'll have to have that one back. Um, like an idiot, we did actually use up most of my um, most of my. That's the wrong button there. Sorry. Uh, Amaritas. So we're good. Why about four of those? Yeah, I guess the plus five strength on that Viking uh, sword really actually does. Uh, he does actually make a difference. Okay, um, that's going to be it for me for now. I'll catch you guys later for another exciting episode of Etrian Odyssey. I'll see you guys then. Goodbye.